All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, you're one and only, and how are all my adventurers doing? So from the title, or if you've been to my Twitch streams, I have gotten bored and made a VTuber, as you can see. Hey, how you doing? Okay, so basically, <laughs> I got really bored one day and I was just thinking to myself, I might as well start learning Blend and Unity only to figure out that VTubing actually uses that as well. So I just said, eh, I might as well do some practice stuff because I was gonna make me a VR avatar as well, a VR chat avatar. Because you guys remember me actually talking about that, of me wanting to make one. It was just gonna be tedious. But this is, this is the outcome of that. <laughs> Once I made the model and everything, I was just sitting here like, dude, I might as well try and VTube it, if anything. But yeah, it took a lot of progress, to be honest. I think the first day only took like six hours to get an understanding of how V-Roid and everything worked. Uh, today, it took me like three hours to get how Unity works. So yeah, I've added on glasses, this crystal and this... um this fur collar as well and this earring that's here well two earrings but yeah i don't think you could see the other one really but yeah i also made the crystal kind of like transparent so you can like look into it it also has like this really annoying like line in between the bottom of it which you know i got kind of tried to cover up with the crystal i kind of ended up liking it a lot actually so i just kind of left it like this and it, it took a while to design everything. Uh, the thing I've learned with the whole V-Roid thing is that their site, first off, sucks at, you know, searching up shit. Like, it's all searched by tags, and normally people don't tag their things, apparently. And even if I was to, like, just type in, like, let's say, girl, because I wanted to give credit to the person who made this armor, but I can't find their avatar anymore just because the search bar sucks. <laughs> and I, I I tried to favorite it and I totally forgot to. <sighs> so yeah, I can't find this person. Actually, maybe I can actually. Um, did I name it right? I don't think I named it right in the folder because I was in a hurry. I wonder if I put the numbers in with it, uh... Yeah, this is the thing I regret, is not putting the actual name of the character in there. But... I guess... I guess... If anybody knows the link to this person, it said something girl, and I can't put in girl and just start scrolling down, because, like I said, v doesn't, you know search by names it's searched by tags and it's kind of stupid i wish they had a search bar like where that just search up actual names if you're gonna just put tags you know at least shorten it somehow uh second thing about vroid that i've learned is that the male hairs are lacking <laughs> very very lacking i'm actually considering on just redesigning the hair of this character but i kind of like it as well just because it kind of fits with everything. But eh, the male hairs are lacking like so much. It's, it's the same thing with like VR chat. Like male avatars are basically all the same and really cringe. It's, it's most instead of like VR chat being mostly furries and <laughs> just furry boys, you know, half wolf boys and shit like that. B-Roy is just full of defaults. <laughs> it is, it's kind of like the total opposite. It's actually hilarious. But I got to say, the female stuff is like actually really good. And it's actually kind of funny that this uh, armor was actually supposed to be for a female character, but it actually ended up working perfectly fine on this character. So, yeah, it, it, it's actually turned out a lot nicely. I will say from the first time I streamed it, I didn't have the necklace and stuff on. Actually, I could show that actually. 
Actually, hold on. I can actually show the default one. Yeah, this was the default. This is when I first started doing VTubing just to test it out on the stream and see how it went. Yeah, you can, you can see that I've, I've learned a lot from Unity. <laughs> so uh, I'm still learning. And it's actually been like a lot of fun trying to learn all this and looking at the different Unity things. Uh, mostly everything that was that's on this avatar is free. The only thing that wasn't free, just because I wanted to test my theory of something. And it was basically if anything named 3D or FX would go into Unity. And yes, I was right. It's the fur collar. The fur collar actually cost me like $9. I, I just had to make it perfectly clear for myself if it actually would work or not. And plus, I actually wanted like a fur collar armor. So, yeah. I mean, I'll be skilled enough to where I can just like kind of make my st own stuff later on. Just kind of like I'm just photoshopping at this moment. <laughs> Everybody knows their first photoshop and, you know, getting images, putting them together and getting them all ready and all bundled up. And thankfully, I ended up doing that. But yeah. The crystal thing was actually pretty fun too, making that transparent and everything. I was like experimenting with a lot of like, what was it? Oh, actually, I can uh, bring it up on the screen actually. Hold on, because I still have my model up. And that's up. So yeah, I, I pretty much been in Unity, having a lot of fun, <laughs> like rearranging things. I like crystal effects, you know, playing with the reflection and the texture and everything. Combining textures is like really interesting. Because there's kind of like a, how do I put it? Oh wait, no, I didn't have this one, right? No, I had something else different. I had hair, didn't I? It looked a lot better. Okay, no, it wasn't that one. It had like a hair effect on it and it looked like really nice. Maybe it is that one and I had to change the fur to something else. Did I have pattern two? Could have sworn I had pattern three. Okay, I did have pattern three. It's just came differently and I went to hair. Okay, no, I don't remember the first thing that I did for that then. Yeah, this is fine too, to be honest. But yeah. I've been playing with a lot of textures and everything, been searching around the internet. I would say the searching around has been the most interesting thing and tedious and you know kind of anger provoking because there aren't too much inside of the unity store and it, it, you can't really do accessories from like other models to be honest when it comes to like vroid because vroid doesn't let you put on accessories it, it, it still confuses me of hold on <clears throat> It still confuses me of why are there, um, this is my base model also. You have to finish everything in here and then you go to Unity to put on like accessories and everything. But that's, that's the thing. Why is there clothing, accessories, and shoes if we can't put anything in these? You know, there's bows and stuff in here for default. But there's nothing else in here for like hands and accessories and stuff like kind of reminds me i don't even remember the game's name um it's it's hold on, hold on. i know it's on steam also i've seen people play it or i've seen a person play it it's kind of like this game's designing you know where you put in like different packs and stuff and shit like that Kind of like that, you know, I, I would think there would be like packs and bundles you can like 
store inside of here and you could just change them all together but it, it's not like that unfortunately which is kind of like really weird so that kind of threw me off <laughs> i was thinking to myself dude this is gonna be awesome there's gonna be so much stuff i was saying here's the rest of my character i didn't even bother to put on shoes am i a maniac I guess I really don't care. <laughs> Let's say. Uh, yeah, just put on sneakers. I don't, I don't have creativity to make armor shoes right now. I have to go through a lot of thinking and progress with that. I would say heels would probably be the best way to make like iron shoes, maybe? Like high heels? Oh. Eh, I guess that could be the base, actually. This would be the armored, like, heel. Oh yeah, I could actually do that. Never mind. Never mind. But yeah, it, it, it's been weird learning all this, to be honest. Unfortunately, you can't take uh, you can't take anything out of Unity and put it inside of here, which really sucks. If you want to come back and you know change your characters like eyes or you know coloring of their skin a little bit if it's like off to you. Or change their hairs you have to go through a re like a whole redesign you have to open up your basic of where you last stopped and change it then you got to go back into unity and put your stuff back on that that's the thing i hated it's like a lot to be honest it was really interesting to learn but it was like also really stupid of how limited vroid is like vroid is extremely limited towards their like program and their site like it's actually amazed me i would say b2 me is coming this has came this far and it's just like the sites and everything are still limited a lot of people are converting models to be to be honest and to the point where i couldn't even find the model that i got the armor from i was scrolling down you know i was seeing a little bit of familiar avatars but i got to the certain point where I was reaching like probably like 500 and it's kind of cut me off from there. <laughs> and as I was going down, it just kept stacking one avatars on top of each other, more and more and more avatars on top of each other. So it's kind of like some avatars get lost in the nothingness if they're not tagged right, which is like really unfortunate. <laughs> That's why I kind of wish there was a search bar for also the name that people actually put up too because literally as that search bar goes down it gets stuck it, it it just starts stacking i wish i would have stopped and saved it and didn't refresh just to see if it would like you know keep going but yeah it did not so it's a lot of things that happened there <laughs> unforge but yeah if anybody actually knows the name of the armor that's used do do let me know and well i actually can't even tag it if you can find the link to it do put it in the description or let me know and i'll grab it <laughs> and put it in the description i don't like taking credit for things that i don't do <laughs> anywho hope you all have a fantastic day i'm gonna be enough here i just wanted to be known that i've what I've been up to as of late. I've just been like really learning, you know, kind of getting like a little bit of a hobby, just chilling. Also been streaming a lot of internal return as well. I'm addicted again. But with that said, I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. And to the peace out.